Welcome back to Just Books. Reporter and writer Sonia Falero, very well known for her journalism, has produced her first book of non-fiction. It's a remarkable story. It's called Beautiful Thing, Inside the Secret World of Bombay's Dance Bars. It's five years of investigation and she looks very closely at the lives of women who either entertain or indulge in sex work, their connections with the whole underworld, including the mafia, the police, and really it is a deep, long journey into the dark underbelly of Mumbai. Sonia, an amazing piece of work, and what is unique about your investigation is that it reads almost like fiction. How did you get into the story of Bombay's dancing girls and dance bars? You know, Sunil, I was a full-time reporter at the time and I had seen a story on a news channel about uh, bar dancers and it intrigued me. So I uh, got in touch with uh, one of my contacts in what I call the bar and brothel business and asked him if he would introduce me to a few bar dancers. And one of those girls was Leela and that's the first time that I met her in a bar in uh, South Bombay. Duck dangerous and disturbing. This is a B&B business that is ruthless. Mm. And your main protagonist, uh, of course all names have been, most names have been changed in Beautiful Thing, is this woman called Leela. Incredibly beautiful, confident, sure of herself that she can win over any man, make endless money, mm. and as she says, hamara kaam hai lootna customer ko bevkuf banana. How shocking was it when you began your journey with Leela? I think I spent a lot of time just with my mouth hanging open, with my eyes popping out. I was certainly very startled, I think on a constant basis, by the things that were said, by the people that I met, the places that I was taken to, uh, by the language. The language was so salty, really. It made my ears burn. Uh, but it really is a whole new world that I never knew existed. And uh, I think the reason why it attracted me so much and why I wanted to be part of it was because uh, it was so new, it was so different from anything else that I'd ever experienced. Having been a reporter and having reported on marginalized communities for several years. Right. Leela emerges as a, a damaged, a difficult character, but also someone with supreme confidence. She mm. has a very, very complicated life. This small town girl from Meerut who's been abused sexually. And what happens is that as you unfurl the stories of these bar dancers and sex workers, you find that really all of them virtually, whether they are Hijras or, or Forest Road or Kamatipuras, sex workers or, or uh, uh, brothel girls, they've all had a horror story of early sexual abuse. Mm. That's absolutely true. I think one of the things that really, uh, uh, you know, is a trademark almost of the young women of these communities is that they've been abused not just by strangers but by people who uh, were beloved to them and who uh, they expected to uh, love them and to protect mm. them. And I think that's a, such a scarring experience that it uh, not only defined their childhood, but in a way destroyed it, of course. And in fact, it was almost like they never had a childhood, but it also defined the relationships that would follow. And one of the fallouts of this sort of abuse is, of course, that they find it very difficult to trust uh, other people. And also they live for the day because uh, their lives are so fragile. Um, they've been so beaten down that the idea that, uh, you know, tomorrow may come is sometimes a very difficult one for them to grasp.